Uh, but let me back up for a second. So Variety is the first to report that Jay, back in August, when he was a guest on America's yeah. Got Talent, that he made a joke that offended members of the Asian American Let's community who joke. were on set. What was set. it? Allegedly, well, he said what? I don't want to get into the specifics I'll say it of then. it, but that, I'll, I'll it, say it because okay. I think people should know. I don't like when we say he allegedly told a joke because you're not giving the information to the public. Right. The joke allegedly <laughs> was about Asian people eating dogs. So there that was, was the alleged joke. So this is what Variety is reporting, is that he made this joke that was then edited out of the show in August. So when TMZ goes to catch up with him and ask him about it, he totally dodged it. He didn't answer yeah. anything. He didn't say that there was a joke that was made. He actually called Gabrielle a great girl multiple Which times. Hit under, I don't know if we can play the tape or not, but that's what struck me. I, again, we don't know the joke in... I'll, I'll tell you, let me tell you this. When I started out in TV, I remember a very famous comedian. He got introduced to the entire staff. I came over to him, he's a white male, and I said, hi. He said, what's your name? I said, Tamron. He goes, what is it with you blacks and the names? He said this in front, and I won't tell the comedian because he's dead now, but it was so hurtful in a room full of all white people. And he said that to me, and I had to laugh it off when I wanted to say, what is it with you jerks who think you can say anything like right. that? So I say that not to get on my high horse. I say that because sometimes people think it's funny and it's not. Well, people are really upset, but there are so many layers to what caused this toxic culture. Yeah. I will say though that Variety claims that Gabrielle urged members of the staff to go to human resources and to report th that this joke made them uncomfortable. Now, there are claims that she didn't get along with Simon Cowell, that he was smoking on the set, which is completely illegal in the state of California. Which, by the way, again, bringing up this allegation of smoking, I know people can say, what's the big deal? But it is illegal and it speaks to what powerful people are allowed to do that others are not. Right. If, again, let me stress, wasn't there, but if it's true, yeah, it could seem like something that's nothing, but no other employee could do that if what is alleged is true. Exactly, and Tamron, what's really upsetting so many people, and this is really just the most horrible part about all of it, um, is that Gabrielle was allegedly given notes by production uh, that her hairstyles were, quote, too black. Right. And what I've learned um, is that n apparently no one ever said that this is her face. They went to um, white people who worked with her and said this about her. Allegedly. And her clothing choices, um, that they weren't in line with what uh, the America's Got Talent audience wants or what they want to see. Um, so again, this sounding yeah. like an incredibly toxic work environment. Yeah. And although she hasn't said anything, people are looking to NBC saying, what's up? Yeah. Why, you know, what is happening there? This is a show that's supposed to be a family show that's been on for all of these years with Simon Cowell, who we remember also uh, from American Idol, who created the show, who runs the show. Um, and, you know, Howard Stern actually came out and said, right. I was a judge on this show for years. Why is it that um, these male judges get to stay, but it's a revolving door of the women right. on the show. Because, the, because Gabrielle <laughs> Union and Juliana Huff replaced Mel B and Heidi Klum. Um, also, Howard Stern, who is unapologetic about anything, he right. didn't say anything. <laughs> Howard said this was the ultimate boys club. Right. We also know that sources have described Gabrielle Union as, um, oh, what is the word that they use? Difficult. How could I forget that one? I was being sarcastic because that's the go-to word. It's a trope when it comes to women. We are difficult. Black women are angry and difficult. I have in this business watched men storm out of rooms, puffing and huffing, and no one says anything. Right. A woman speaks up, you're difficult. We just did a show on likability trap, that women are always in this likability trap. Well, NBC says that they're taking this very seriously, that they are working with Gabrielle's team to get to the bottom of this, to do an investigation. Um, but again, so many people are offended because this is supposed to be a family show that people tune